Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup with Larry, our gargoyle fighter of Che Riados. Alright, so here we are, we have done the Orcish Mines and uh, things are going quite well for Larry. Um, okay, yes. Um, let's do this. Now, we were considering buying books here. We have 2,500 gold. Um, and what would be the most important thing? Shadow creatures seem pretty cool. But it's difficult to cast. Um, okay, let's think now. Uh, what, are, what are we doing next? Next, I think I'll do a couple of levels of the main dungeon and then maybe the swamp or the snake pit. Or maybe the slime pit, even. Well... No, I, I want to get a resist corrosion thing before, um, before doing the slime pits. But I definitely want to do, to do the slime pits in this game. Um, you know, just because... Well, I do hope to make this a really nice extended endgame character. That's the goal, you know. We might fail soon or at any point, of course, but that's kind of the goal. The goal. No D there. Um, and this would be very cool to get into this trove. We need to have the slimy rune. And I want to get the slimy rune anyway, so... But I don't want to do the slime rune all at the end, you know, it would be cool to get it fairly soon. But, nah, yeah, not without any resist corrosion stuff, I think. Well, we'll see, we'll get the, the runes in Swamp and Snake first, at least. So, Swamp and Snake. We're immune to poison, we can fly. Um, confusion can be a little bit of a problem in the swamp. Um, and of course there are uniques that can show up, you never know um, exactly what you're gonna get. Uh, but These are Reasonably good offensive spells. I'm looking forward to trying out this one. And face shift and apportation. Face shift is not totally online yet. So we have good. Well, use. We have fairly good um, defense. Could be better on the offensive side here. And mid skeleton can be very good in the swamp because we get lots of dragons and hydras there. So, so ooh, <laughs> here are some long-term fun. <clears throat> well, maybe. Um, no. Bolt of Fire is very good, but totally uncastable right now. Fireball is quite useful or usable if we train some fire magic and some more conjuration. Yeah. Mm. The helpful birds. Yeah, repel missiles 
Shroud of Calubria and Tornado. Those are good. I like Shroud of Calubria as a defensive thing. And. <clears throat> I believe uh, Repel Missiles does work on. Um, all kinds of projectiles, you know, even Naga spitting poison and. So this, yeah, I think we need this for um, at least a snake pit. Transfigurations, I don't think I want to go into that. We already have stone skin. Um, Book of air is... Well, it's only repel missiles I want there, so this one's a better buy since it also has Shroud of Calubria. Necromancy. Oh yeah, regeneration. That's good. And vampiric training. Clouds, mephitic cloud. All good. Um Okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy the Disquisition on the Helpful Birds and a Book of Necromancy. Those are... Manual of Dodging would also be very nice. Um, but we can wait. Okay. We can right away learn uh, Repel Missiles. Yes. Shroud of Calubria is also level 2. That's nice. And I want. Mm, empiric Draining or Regeneration. I'll take Regeneration. Well. Empiric Draining is good for this kind of character, because we often have to stand still, and... and fight monsters that are nearby, you know, or adjacent. Well, maybe it's not... Mm. Empiric Draining will, of course, take hit points from an enemy and give it to us, whereas the Regeneration just increases our regeneration rate. We already have that on the chain mail. Well, I guess the spell would just increase it even further. Um, let's get vampiric draining for now. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Um, put repel missiles on... Rotation uh, can be like I don't know, P. Shroud needs to go to B. We have all these there. That's nice. Um, Someone butterflies to S. The vampiric training can be F. Yeah, that's all good. Um, okay, let's head back to our little stash thing in the lair. Ugh, eat this orc. Um, 
Cristo. No, nothing more we need right now. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I think we look good inventory wise. Staff of poison I'll probably never use, so. Uh. Yeah, good. Good stuff. So now we will do. more levels here of the dungeon. We find a weapon shop. That's cool. Uh, okay, I'm training fighting to get some hit points. Access and translocation for these spells. Okay. Looks good. Yeah. Artifact Morningstar. Fairly cheap, but everything looks a bit cheap in this shop. Kinda doubt that it's better than my scimitar. Might be better than the Mace of Protection. An Artifact Morningstar, yeah. That's... Pretty... Much a no-brainer. Let's. It's cursed plus zero, crushing, it's extra damage. It makes me invisible, or able to go invisible. Resist electricity is irre This is irrelevant. Fire resistance is nice. And people is nine. Nice. Strength plus three is nice. Let's remove the curse. Um. Hmm. There's a lot of good things about this mace, obviously. Uh, but it's only plus zero. Then again, do you have a good skill with mace and flails? Well, fairly good. Um, but the scimitar, you know, is plus eleven, so I. I believe that makes the base damage 23, it's just this plus or minus whatever modifier. And base accuracy will be plus 9. Hmm. I'll keep the Morning Star, but. But. Kind of doubt I'll actually ever use it. Ring. Hmm. It's invisible, okay. Do we have any source of see invisible? We don't. Okay, that's uh, very nice. Very good. Oh, there's so much we need to train. Mark. Okay, let's get our repel missiles on. <clears throat> and yeah, now everything comes after us <laughs> uh, because of the Sentinel's mark. It's fine. Still no cure mutation. No. Whoops. Uh, 
Yeah, taking a step up there was not correct. Mm. Let's get our Shroud of Colubria up. Um, there's a lot of reaching weapons up there. <clears throat> Come here, thank you. Power of Shroud of Colubria, about not exactly half. Yet, um, and let's why not drain a little bit here? That works. <laughs> Excellent. I like this setup so far. some skeletons here. Actor, mm. Cyclops, Yak. One more. Yeah, do this. <coughs> skeletons are a bit frail. But uh, from, but uh, they can do a good amount of damage as well. And or at the very least, they will be um, uh, at the very least they'll be like meat shields. Or should I say bone shields? <laughs> I think I made that joke before. Uh... Hey, the waltz. Yeah, I need to switch these two. Just doesn't feel right to have <laughs> for some reason <clears throat> having repel missiles on capital E, which is mapped to F five, just doesn't feel right. Strange habits and oh, it's, 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 it's not strange, it's just 
kind of weird what kind of habits one can get into or acquire or I don't know what <clears throat> you do with habits in English do you learn them do you acquire them do you do hmm. whoa have you found iron shot anywhere no that's a good spell I want to get in here let's Stuff of Earth. Ooh, that's gonna be cool if we wanna go for Shatter. Or, <clears throat> or other high level Earth spells. Um, so it increases the power of Earth spells, not. The failure or ruined boots. We have oh, we have no boots. Okay. Well, <laughs> boots of <laughs> flying is absolutely useless, but they still give one armor class, right? Yeah. Okay. Book of Changes. Spider form might be interesting. So I think um, or maybe they removed the speed. Um, there was something about the spider form. At least it used to uh, make you quite quick. And there was something about Shariados allowing that for some reason. Um, but that might have changed. Alright, so that was D13. Do one more floor here, and there's a Guardian Mummy. Oh, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, Strange energies run through your body. Okay. I can live with that. Okay, good. Yeah, Stone Arrow is not the best spell. Uh, it works. Okay, Gels, Gravitas, and Face Shift are getting very castable. survived with no harm did that mummy curse anything my ring of protection it seems like okay um, ghoul I'm immune to rotting, so bring it on. <sighs> Gloves are cursed. Yeah, we're gonna. Seems like we have to eat some perma food because there's only undead on this level. Uh, 
Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow, these guys hurt, dude. Ow! <clears throat> dispel Undead. It's a spell. Dispel Undead, yeah. Would have been nice right now. Uh, but we're doing fine, so it's okay. Seventeen massive damage from the Reaper. Uh, who has summoned you? Um, Speak, speak, thou fearful guest, who with thy hollow breast, still in rude armour dressed, comest to daunt me, wrapped not in eastern balms, but with thy fleshless palms, stretched as if asking alms, why dost thou haunt me? Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, the skeleton in armour, 1841. Cool. I rarely look at these quotes, there are lots of cool stuff there. Um, let's see, let's, let's try to keep us dance on this guy, he resisted. Damn. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's use face shift. I'll increase my evasion and <clears throat> do we step towards one of these guys or let's get a shroud up as well and <laughs> stone skin all in um, I need to heal the wounds. Hmm. This isn't working out. Try out Gel's Gravitas. Um. 
miscast. Dang it. Let's get fighting to level 10 and then turn it off, by the way. Oops. Hmm, let's be on the safe side and teleport. Good. I should have animated the Cyclops. Well, I can still do it. Uh -huh. uh, attack! Yes. Okay, that's dungeon level 14. And, um. What I usually do is leave D15 for later and go and try to get a couple of runes at this point. Um. So, where do we go? Let's go back to the lair. There we go. Drop of stuff. I think we'll poke our heads into the snake pit. At least try a couple of levels there, see how we do. Poison immunity is naturally helpful. Oh, we run straight into Izul. Uh. Well, I think we can deal with him. Um, so this has to be cast on a... Can I cast it here, for example? So the center of gravity will become here, and Izul is pulled. No, that was a stupid waste.
No problems. And a book. Um, should have dropped off this staff as well. Um, um, um. Configurations. Okay, uh, let's see now. The scroll is acquirement, brand, weapon, holy word, or torment. So, 50-50... No. 75% chance it's a good, useful... I guess we haven't found any acquirement yet. Huh? Um... Let's see what it is. It's brand weapon. Okay. <laughs> Don't have any weapons that can be branded. What about this book? Um. Hmm. Well, whoops. I don't know, maybe dragon form. That seems really cool. I don't know. I think that's the way to go with this character, but... Um... Let's... Do spell casting and some long blades. Don't we know? Persistence, nice. Okay, that's level one. Some nasty constriction going here. Um, what 
to try to keep us stance. Okay, that is not my target, it seems. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, this guy with the trident. Okay, um. Fast, very fast. Slow. Very fast. Okay, so. Let's do a. Let's get face shift. Slouch. Oh no. This guy survived. Uh, heal wounds. Let's try vampiric draining. towards us with temporal distortion instant means I'm pretty sure it means that it happens instantly so that he won't have the time to attack us so if I do this uh, ooh, okay huh I thought this always drew things toward you, but, well, this works as well. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, face shift is nice. Large shield. So let's finish up this level and I'll end the episode. Yes. Uh, okay, I guess the Naga teleported me. It was Naga Mage. Okay. Ring of Ice. I think I'll ever need two of those. We also got a see invisible. Cool. Um, let's try this new scroll. Acquirement finally. Excellent. Hmm. <clears throat> no, I think armor is the best way to go. There's several of our stuff here is just crap See the cloak the gloves the boots are fairly useless the buckler is crap okay gauntlets of war hello those are just nice <clears throat> a lot better than plus zero pair of gloves so let's read a scroll of i'll put on my First, the invisible ring. Uh, now we read, remove curse. Go back to the ring of intelligence. Uh, wrong spot. Or fire magic. Now this looks fine. Um, Gauntlets of War, I've had them before. Um, yeah, maybe if you saw my... Uh, my big... Uh, my 14 rune win in the tournament with that Minotaur fighter. I think he had the Gauntlets of War. Excellent. I guess there are things that would have benefited this character even more, but we are using the Gauntlet of War, of course, is 
you know, plus three to uh, armor class and plus five to accur accuracy and damage with ranged and melee attacks. So that's nice. Ooh, what did I see? Eker Stain Broad Axe. Well, we do have a little bit of skill in axes. Take that with me. Trying to keep us dance again. I still haven't. Okay, now it, it worked. Haha. <laughs> Come on, weapon attack. Huh, no. Okay, not sure how good that spell is. Okay, well that seems to be it for this level and this video. Yeah, good progress still. Um, could get some better spells, but okay, everything is hungerless and castable now. Let's keep doing this. And armor. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could use a better set of spells, but it works for now. Uh, okay, anyway, um, thank you for watching, and uh, see you next time.